Praise God. And just to give you a short review of what we had last week, no? So, lagi natin dinideclare, I have everything in Christ. Pero pa, paano yun? Bakit hindi all aspect ng buhay ko, eh, everything nga? Parang hindi naman nangyayari. So, we went through how we can uh, see that in our lives. And last week, what we learned is that uh, ang puso pala natin, para yan lupa na tinataniman ng buto. Ano po yung buto? Yung buto po, lagi po yan uh, nire-refer sa Word of God na siyang Word o salita ng Diyos. At kailangan daw po, ang puso natin ay mataniman ng salita ng Diyos. Alright? We came from the verse, John chapter 15. Let's go there. John chapter 15 verse 7. Ang sabi po doon, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Alright? So yan po, doon po tayo nang galing. At um, kailangan daw po, yung puso natin ay tatanggapin ang salita ng Diyos. So we learned there are four kinds of grounds. Alin ka doon? Tanong mo sa tabi mo, alin ka doon? Ayan. At kung natagpuan mo last week, ay ako pala ay stony ground. Alright? Hindi po yun condemnation. Alright? It's for you to find out and for you to give a solution. Diyan po pumapasok ang biyaya ng Diyos na, ayan, alam mo na ngayon, stony ka pala. Alam mo pala, hindi ka nakikinig masyado sa salita ng Diyos, kundi puro daldalan lang pag oras ng word. Alright? Then you can do something about it. Amen? Alright? So we found out the first uh, kind of ground is the, the, the wayside. Alright? Kung saan, hindi nakikinig. Alright, sorry. Nakikinig pero hindi iniintindi ang salita ng Diyos. Ano nangyayari? Ninanakaw ng kaaway. Alright? Yung seed, yung buto. Bakit? Sa oras na maintindihan mo yan, magbabago ang buhay mo at patutunayan mo na maganda nga ang buhay sa Panginoon. Amen? Ayaw na ayaw niya na maranasan mo ang buhay ng katulad ng buhay ni Kristo dahil ikaw mismo magpapatotoo na ang ganda ng buhay. Amen? Sabi nga natin, ang ganda ng buhay. Alright? So, you know, that's the first kind of soil. And the solution to that is, may solution naman eh, makinig ka at hindi lang makikinig, kundi iintindihin mo ang salitang napapakinggan mo. Amen po ba? Then the second kind was the stony ground. What is the stony ground? Pag stony po, kakaunti ang lupa. Puro bato. May konting lupa, kaya lang, dahil sa kakontian, it will not take root. The seed or the word of God that is planted in your heart, pag kakaunti po ang lupa, hindi magkakaugat. Alright? So, pagdating po ng trials, pagdating ng mga temptations, ayan na, nadadali tuloy. Alright? Again, what is the solution? The solution is, alright, intindihin natin ang salita ng Diyos. The quality and the quantity of soil is to the amount of understanding that you give to the Word of God. So, you will realize the parable of the sower is actually about understanding the Word. Sabihin natin lahat, understanding the Word. And then the third kind of soil is the thorny ground. Yung matinik. Bakit matinik? Alright? Dahil ito rin, hindi rin nakakapakinig ng salita. Ano, nakakakinig siya, pero pagdating po ng deception of riches, what else? Uh, the cares of this world, nadadaya siya. Itong tao na to, isang paa nakatapak sa word, yung kabilang paa nakatapak sa world. Paghatak na world, baksak din siya. Alright? So again, the solution to this is you understand the word of God that has been planted into your hearts so that when the deception comes, hindi ka magpapadaya. Amen? Hindi ka kayang dalin ng cares of this world. Amen? So the solution is understand the world. The word rather. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, understand the word. And we learned that kailangan po ay maging seryoso tayo. Seryosong seryoso ang Panginoon sa pagbe-bless sa atin. Ang tanong, seryoso ka ba? Alright? Tanong mo yung katabi mo, seryoso ka ba? Alright, we have to be serious in this matter. Alright, dito po nakataya ang ang um, pag uh, pag manifest ng mga bagay-bagay na mabubuti sa ating buhay. We have everything in Christ. The moment you believed in Jesus Christ, guess what? All good things, all riches has been given to you. At yung susi ibinigay binigay na rin po sa inyo. Amen. Now to bring it out, that is where we need to abide in the word of God. Alright? And then we learned that no word, 
no manifestation. No seed, no fruit. Amen? No word, no manifestation, no seed, no fruit. Amen? Then we learn na pwede kang mag-harvest ng 100%. Kung 100% mong inintindi, 100% din ang harvest mo. Kung medyo naabala ka dahil yung anak mo ginugulo ka o kaya pumunta ka sa CR sandali, well, maybe 60% ang naintindihan mo, 60% din ang harvest mo. Alright? Pumunta ka dito, gusto mong intindihan ang salita ng Diyos, kaya lang medyo inaantok ka, hindi ka pa nakatulog, 30% ang naintindihan mo, 30% din ang harvest mo. Amen? 160% and the 30-fold. Amen? So it's, it's really up to you. Yung harvest mo, it's all up to you. Amen? Alright, tanong ulit sa katabi mo, seryoso ka ba? Alright, let's go to the word abiding. You know, I wanted to move on, but ang gusto ng Panginoon, maintindihan natin what abiding is all about. Otherwise, kasi susi po ito eh. Otherwise, you'll just move on to the next message at yung pinakasusi po, iiwanan natin. Sayang. Alright? So we have to understand what abiding means. And ironically, abiding means stay. Kaya we stay with this word. Alright? Abiding means to stay, manatili. Abiding means to continue. Abiding means to dwell o manahan. Take up residency. Right? Abiding means to endure. Abiding also means to be present, to remain, and to stand. Alright? So with those, with those definition, what abiding means, again, let's read John 15 verse 7. If you abide in me, if you stay in me, if you continue in me, alright? And my words abide in you, dwell in you, take residence in you, Endure in you, remain in you, you will ask what you desire. Ano man ang gusto mo? Kasama dyan, bahay, lupa, sasakyan, amen? Kasama boyfriend, asawa, lahat yan kasama. Whatever you desire, ano sabi? It shall be done for you. Amen? Of course, these are all good things. Bawal humingi ng hindi according to the Word of God. Bawal hingin ang kotse ng kapitbahay nyo. Amen? Humingi ka ng sarili mong kotse. Bawal hingin ang asawa ng kapitbahay mo. Humingi ka ng sariling asawa mo. Amen? Alright. Okay. So, let's continue. So, we have to abide and what we have to do is to understand what this means. So, ito po, ilalatag po natin para maintindihan. Ano ba yung abide? Lulutang-lutang lang ba dito yung salita? Ano gagawin ko doon? Alright? So, we have to find out. Now, I just want to remind you two things. There are two powers working. Working. Okay? Two powers working. The first one is God's power is working toward us. Now, this is perfect. Gumagana po yan, alright? It's perfect and it is towards us. Papunta po sa atin. But there's another power and this power is working in us. Ibig sabihin, ibinigay na sa inyo, pagaganahin mo na lang. Amen? Amen? Alright. This power is working in us and this power is called Christ or the Word through faith in love. Alright? Now, kailangan gumana po itong power working in us for God's power to work toward us. There should be two powers working at the same time. Alright? And of course, it is up to us to work this power that is already in us. Alright? So, let's go to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. <clears throat> Ephesians 3, 20, it says here, Now to Him, to God, who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think. Alright? And then it says here, according or based on or dependent on the power at work within us. Ibig sabihin, ang Panginoon who can do, or who can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ever can ask or think of, lahat po yan, base po yan sa gumaga ng power na nasa inyo. Amen? So, kung hindi gumagana itong power na to, then the, the, the power of God is act, 
activated, pero hindi po gagana sa buhay natin. Amen? The power of God is available to all. He is not selfish. He wants you to have it all. Kaya lang, it is according to the power that works in us. Amen? And we can make it work. We can make it work. Kaya natin paganahin yan, hindi po mahirap. Alright? So let's now go and understand what abiding means. Manahan sa salita ng Diyos. Manatili sa salita ng Diyos. Now some people would say, Pastora, kasi ano yan eh, nakakaubos oras yan. Biro mo, magbabasa ako sa umaga. Ayan, tapos kailangan pag-iisipan ko pa. Ha? Eh masyadong nakakaubos oras yan. Alright? Now some people see the Word of God, reading the Word of God, and understanding it as a, kumbaga eh, trabaho or uh, medyo nakakabigat sa schedule nila. Alright? Mauubos ang oras, o iba, nabobore sila. Kaya lang po, alam nyo, this morning, once you find out the benefit, sabi natin lahat, benefit. The benefit of understanding the word, you will make time for the word. Okay? It's an all-in, package deal, everything in, all the good stuff in understanding the Word of God. In fact, let me say this to you. You cannot afford not to have time with the Word. Okay? Sabi na iba, I can't afford to give it time. No. In the truth, you cannot afford not to give time to the Word. Amen? Once you find out how good the Word is and how good it is to understand it. Okay? Let's go to number one first. Again, we are talking about abiding in the Word. Sabihin natin, abiding in the Word. Okay. So, ano po ang benefits nito pag nag abide tayo sa Word? No? Uh, His Word abiding in us means to understand. Uh, every time you see the word abide, it means you are to understand the Word. Hindi lumulutang-lutang lang dyan ang salita ng Diyos. O sa isip natin, palutang-lutang. Hindi po. Kailangan po iniintindi natin. Yung salitang naririnig nyo ngayon, as long as it is the Word of God, balutin nyo ng pag-intindi. Amen? Babalutin nyo ng pag-intindi. How does this apply to me? Paano ba ako, uh, pag kunwari, John 3.16, how is John 3.16 applicable to me? Okay? You think about it, and that's how you understand. Look at Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. This is the all-in package deal when you understand the word. Look at this. Happy is the man who finds wisdom. Na explain ko lang po ang wisdom. Wisdom is Jesus who is also the word. Sabi natin lahat, Jesus is the word. Jesus is wisdom. Okay, so what is saying here is happy is the man who finds the word who is Jesus. Okay? So when you find Jesus, when you find the Word, you already find wisdom. So happy is the man who finds wisdom. And number two, and the man who gains understanding. So dalawang bagay po, para makamit natin yung mga benefits. Number one, you find the Word, you are now finding the Word. And number two, you are gaining understanding. Iniintindi mo. Okay? So, kung dalawang bagay na yan, nasa yun na, what is the benefit? Alright? Sabi dito, for her proceeds. Ano po yung sabi ng proceeds? Yung magagather mo, yung kikitain mo, yung profit mo, are better than profits of silver. Sino dito nagtitinda ng alahas na silver? Ayan, mas maganda pa ang kita mo dito, nagbabasa ka lang ng salita ng Diyos, iniintindi mo lang ang salita ng Diyos. Amen. Okay, what else? Ang sabi pa dito, and her gain, her gain, yung mag-gain mo rito, her gain than fine gold. It did not say than gold. It says than fine gold. Ibig sabihin, yung magagandang klaseng carats of gold. Alright? Mas matindi pa dyan ang kikitain nyo. What else? She is more precious than rubies. Ano po yung she? Yung, uh, yung word of God na naintindihan mo, mas precious pa yan sa rubies. And then look at this. And all the things that you may desire, buhat nung bata ka hanggang sa oras na ito, pagsamasamahin mo yan, it is not comparable 
to the Word of God that you understood. Higit pa dyan. Alright? Look at this. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand, riches and honor. Alright? Sino dito gusto mahaba ang buhay? Amen? Sino dito gusto yaman? But kumonte, taas nyo kami nyo. There is nothing wrong with riches. Alright? What is wrong with riches is you love the riches, but you can enjoy the riches. Amen? You're allowed to enjoy the riches. So look at this. On her, le on her right hand, Length of days. On the right hand, riches and honor. Yakapin mo yan, yayakapin ka ng length of days, yayakapin ka ng yaman. Amen. Anong ginagawa mo? Pa paano nakuha yan? Iniintindi ko lang ang salita ng Diyos. Amen. Now, some people say, eh kasi naman, time, time waster eh. Ang tagal ko magbabasa. You know, you don't have to read the whole Bible or the whole chapter. If you have time, well and good, more profit for you. But you know what? You can get just one verse and try to understand it the whole day. Habang naghuhugas ka ng pinggan, habang nagbabiyahe ka, habang nasa work ka, you can just think about how does this word apply to me? Understand it. Balutin nyo ng pag-intindi. Pag and there you are. You are abiding in the word of God. Amen? Alright. So let's continue. Look at this. Sabi pa dito, Her ways are ways of pleasantness. Who wants to be pleasant? Laging masaya ang iyong mga ways. Alright? And all, all her paths are peace. Shalom, meaning say whole. Everything that she does is peaceful. And then it says here, she, again referring to the word of God that na intindihan niyo po, she is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Meaning to say, ano bang pangailangan mo sa buhay mo? Para siyang puno, nahitik na hitik sa bunga. Anything that you need, you can take from her. Amen? And, sabi pa dito, happy are all who retain her. What does retain mean? Happy are those who abide in her. If you have the word of God, you understand it, you are abiding in it. And happy are you. So let me list down to you again. Alright, let's go to the next verse. Okay, tapusin lang natin itong verse na to. And last week we learned this. Sabi natin, the Lord by wisdom founded the earth, by understanding He established the heavens. Again, by understanding. Sabi natin lahat, understanding. Kung meron kang understanding, you can establish whatever heaven you want. Heaven of a business, heaven of a relationship, heaven of a family, heaven of house and lot. Whatever heaven that is, lahat yan dito nag-uumpisa. Alright? How? As you abide in the Word. How? Through understanding the Word that you are receiving right now. Amen? Praise God. Alright, so let me list down to you again, just to emphasize, yung all-in, full package deal ng Panginoon sa atin, when you hear the Word, alright, and you understand the Word. Again, proceeds, sabay-sabay po natin basahin. Proceeds or profit is more than silver, fine gold, rubies, incomparable to all things you desire, long life, riches and honor, ways of pleasantness, paths of peace, tree of life, and happiness. Alright? Or happy. Okay? So yan po ang all-in package. And what are you doing? Napakahirap ba? Napaka dami bang degrees na kinuha para makamtam itong mga bagay na to? Of course not. What are you doing? You are hearing the word and understanding the word. All in. Amen? So that's how good it is. And you will make time. You will make time knowing this truth. The word of God is truth. And let me tell you something. Hindi na uubos po ang yaman ng Panginoon. Let me tell you, hindi siguro 100% pa, pero to a certain degree, 60 to 30%, naranasan ko na po ito. 60 to 30%, totoo ang salita ng Diyos. You will always have more and plenty more to, set, to put in store. Amen? Come on, bless the Lord. That is the truth. May katotohanan po ito. Totoo po ito, rather. Alright? So, that's how it is. The word, when you say you are abiding in the word, it means you understand it. Now, let's go to number two. For us to understand what abiding means, 
it calls for time and patience. Sabi natin lahat, time and patience. Of course, pag tinanim po ang buto sa soil, ha, bukas ba may bunga ka na? Wala pa. Maski po munggo, hindi ka bubunga bukas. Ha, lalo na ako ang mga gusto mo, eh parang mala abukado. It takes what? Four to six years for that to happen? Alright? And I've testified to you, I've, I've wanted my house renovated, pero wala naman akong pera. So, paano mangyayari yun? You know how long it took me? Nine years. Pero di bali na, nasa akin naman ngayon. Di ba? Some people are so impatient, you know, kailangan ngayon na. But you know what? When the Lord gives, He blesses us and He adds no sorrow to it. When people ask for things, minsan gusto nila, ngayon na, Lord! Gusto ko ngayon yung kotse. Alright? Kung ang Panginoon walang wisdom, ibibigay sa'yo, oh, sige, bahala ka. Paano mo paanda rin yan? May panggas ka? Ha? Kaya mong i-maintain yan? Alright? Asan ang garahe mo? Alright? Some people want it now. And what happens is, pag hindi sila nakakuha ng sagot from the Lord, ipupush nila yan. Pag pinush nila yan, ayan na, mangungutang na. Pag nangutang na, ano mangyayari? Wala nang, may pang down nga, wala namang panghulog. Okay, nahulugan mo na, asa naman ang panggas. Alright, sometimes we want it in our time frame. But listen to me, when God gives us something, remember, to me, remember this, He heard you the first time, the first time you prayed, He heard you the first time. Alright, kaya lang, May wisdom ang Panginoon. Some people cannot maintain a car. Some people will go into debt when they have a car. But God wants to bless you and when He blesses you, He adds no sorrow to it. So He will give you that car but in the perfect time. Amen! At the perfect time! When you have no sorrow, when you're able to pay Alright? When you're able to pay the gas, when you're able to pay and maintain everything. So, wag po tayo maging impatient. Minsan yung iba naging impatient, ayan, nalulubog tuloy sa utang. Yan ang ayaw ni Lord. Kaya wag natin ipupush ang mga bagay na hindi naman may go signal ng Panginoon. Amen? Alright, praise God. So, it needs time. Alright? The seed needs time to abide, to stay. Alright? And it calls for patience. Nowadays, you know, everybody wants something instant. Instant mommy, instant noodle, fast food, or kain kagad. So some people don't understand what patience is. Especially, yung, yung mga kaidaran ko, naintindihan natin yan, di ba? Kasi pag nag-aaral tayo, we want to find out something, pupunta tayo sa library. Okay? Pagpunta mo sa library, hanapin mo sa encyclopedia, tapos kokopyahin mo yon, di ba? It takes time. Eh ngayon po, wala na pong ganon. Copy-paste na lang. May assignment sila, copy-paste. Alright? May mga assignment sa blackboard, kala nyo kinokopya, hindi, kinukunan ng litrato. Alright? <laughs> Di ba? Ang bilis. Now, hindi, I'm not complaining. Di ba? Sarap nga ng buhay nila. Kaya lang, yung side ng patience, parang hindi masyado na de-develop. Ano yung patience? Alright? And, you know, everything wants something instant, quick. Pati internet, kailangan mabilisan. Pag tinatype mo yung word sa Google, ha, kalahati pa lang yung word. Gusto mo meron ng suggested word. Para pag-enter mo, ganun, nakapasok na kagad. Alright? You know what I'm talking about. Di ba? We want everything so fast. And patience is not developed. Alright? But you know, patience is needed. Patience is needed. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12. So in abiding, it calls for time, and patience. Look at Hebrews 6.12. Bakit natin kailangan ng patience? That you do not become sluggish. Right? Hindi tayo tinatamad. But imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Alright? So to, to inherit the promise, para makamtan natin ang mga pangako ng Panginoon, it calls for faith and Patience, hindi po sinabing faith and internet connection. Amen. Alright? So, kailangan po lang talaga natin ma-develop ang patience. Alright? Sa kaidaran ko, alam niyo yung patience, kahit papano. Pero yung mga bata-bata, di ba? Anything you want, lalabas ka agad yan sa Google. Alright? Ang bilis. So, sometimes patience is not developed. But we need to, we need to learn how to be patient. Who knows that patience is good? You know, pag patient ka, 
When you're patient, you're perceived as a mature person. Diba? When you're patient, it means magkagulo man sila, pero cool ka pa rin. Ito yung mga taong cool na cool. Right? Bakit nagpapanik na sila? Panik na sila. Pa, paano gagawin natin? Andiyan na ang kolektor. Anong gagawin natin? Ikaw naman, everything will be alright. Pinagpray ko na yan and God will provide. Why? Been trained by patience. Amen? They know exactly that God will always come through for them. Amen? Hindi sila nagkakamali doon because God is faithful. Amen? So, when you are patient, you are secured. You're confident. Pag hindi ka patient, lagi kang, you know, lagi kang nagpapanik. Alright? So, another thing about patience is that patience makes you God-like. Anong God-like? Like God. You know, God is a patient God. God is long-suffering. Right? And um, He is long-suffering because He doesn't want anyone to perish. Let's go to, let me just give you an example of this. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Okay? So we need to be patient. 2, Corinth, uh, 2 Peter 3, 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. Baka alam nyo, natatagalan si Lord. Siguro si Lord tinatamad na. Alright? Ang tagal naman dumating ni Lord. Ang tagal dumating si Jesus. Sabi dito, The Lord is not slack concerning His promise as some count slackness, but is long-suffering. Again, another word for long-suffering is patient. Long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Alright? So that is one of the virtues of God. He is long-suffering. He is patient. Alright? So why do we need patience? You know, we don't deal with assignments lang. Hindi tayo nagde-deal sa mga bagay-bagay. We deal with people. At alam naman po natin, ang tao, hindi sila nag-grow overnight. Tama po ba? Sino dito, naging born again ka, tapos kahapon lang yon, tapos ngayon mature na mature ka. Meron bang ganon? Of course not. It takes time. So, you need to develop patience because if you do not develop patience, magiging judgmental ka sa tao. but yon yun? Born again pa naman? Ganun ang ugali? You don't know. People, you know, grow. And they go from one level to the next. Kung nakilala niyo ako nung uh, bagong born again, hindi naman ako bagong born again, uh, four years na akong born again. Four years. And yet, pag may nagba-Bible study, Bible study palang tawag nun, may nagba-Bible study sa bahay namin, dinadaanan ko lang yun. Hindi ko sila pinapansin. Alright? Iniismiran ko sila, dere-derecho ako. Hindi ko sila pinapansin. Ganun ako dati. Alright? But I've learned, you know, in time, people change. People change. And I came to join that Bible study. So, with that learning, right, makikita natin ngayon, pag kayo naman na nag-faith group sa iba, yung tatay ayaw pa sumali, yung tatay binabagsak ang kayo ng pinto, sabi mo, okay lang yan, sasali rin yan. Alright? Makikita rin niya ang, ang kabutihan nito. Alright? So, you know, patience makes you more understanding. Patience makes you more mature in, in uh, pertaining to people. Kasi ang tao po, when you deal with people, alright, kailangan po talaga may pasensya. Now, the second thing that you have to understand about patience, kaya kailangan po natin ng patience, is because you, you obtain the inheritance or the promise of God by faith and patience. Faith and patience. Sabihin natin lahat, faith and patience. Again, when God gives, He wants you to have the blessing and when He blesses us, He adds no sorrow to it. Okay? Years ago, let me testify to you. Years ago, bagong kasalata ako nun. Isip ako ng isip. Sabi ko, ano bang business magagawa ko? So, sinulat ko lahat ng skills ko. Sinulat ko lahat ng pwede kong gawin. Isip ako ng isip. Lord, ano bang business na magagawa ko? Walang sagot. Okay? Wala pong sagot. And then finally, finally, a business came. Right? And it took me years para bago nangyari po yun. And when it came, alam niyo po ba, dahil galing sa Panginoon, and it was His perfect timing. Ni isang kusing wala akong nilabas. Alright? Ni isang kusing wala. Pangalan lang ang akin, lahat ng pera doon sa partner ko. Pero ngayon, pero half kami ha. Cut, cut in the middle kami. Alright? God provided for everything. In yung trabaho, I hardly worked. 
Alright? Mas magaang ang trabaho kesa doon sa partner ko. And let me testify to you, it's been 26 years and still growing strong. Alright? That's the way God provides for His people. He blesses us and He adds no sorrow to it. Amen? What's the, what's the, what's the message here? We need patience. Huwag mong ipush ang hindi naman binibigyan ng go signal ng Panginoon. Otherwise, there will be added sorrow to that. Right? There will be added sorrow. When God, wants to, when God gives us something, He wants it to be perfect. No sorrow added. Alright? And because it is the timing of God. Amen? So seed, seed, uh, seed needs uh, time and harvest. Kaya nga po tinatawag na seed time and harvest. So pag nananahan na po ang salita ng Diyos sa inyong puso as you understand it, Remember that there is time involved and we have to be patient. Alright? Seed time and harvest. Sabihin natin ulit, seed time and harvest. So that you don't get frustrated. Pastora, bakit ganun? Nagtanim na ako. Nagtanim na ako ng mga salita sa akin puso, but hindi pa rin nangyayari? Seed time and harvest. Alright? Wait for that time and there will be a harvest. Amen? Pag harvest time na, put in the sickle and go and have your harvest. Okay? Now, let's go to the third one. Number three. Abiding means continuous. Ibig sabihin, tuloy-tuloy. Hindi ngayon lang, tapos bukas, you know, ayaw mo na. Right? Katulad lang yan sa exercise eh. Sino dito nag-exercise? Taas ang kamay. Ayan. Kung isang buwan kayo nag-exercise, tapos next month, hindi na naman kayo nag-exercise, anong nangyayari? Baliwala. Yung pinayat mo, bumalik lang ulit. Amen. Alam na alam namin yan. Alright? Kailangan po tuloy-tuloy. Kailangan kakaririn mo. So, abiding means continuous. Tuloy-tuloy. Hahayaan mo na manahan ang salita ng Diyos sa'yo. At, this is the thing, kung mahuli mo ang sarili mo, not abiding, it's stop. You know what? Don't condemn yourself. Just stand up and do it again. Okay? So start over and just continue to sow more seeds into your heart. The more seeds you sow, the more harvest you receive. Amen po ba? Alam niyo kung isang seed lang ang itatanim niyo ngayon, six years after, aani na kayo. Pero isa lang ang puno mo. Bakit habang hindi mo gawin, habang nagiintay ka, magtanim ka na magtanim para sa araw na yon, ang dami mo ng punong inaani. Amen? So that's what you have to do. Don't wait for the harvest to come the next month. Instead, keep on sowing so that when harvest time comes, tapos ka na sa isang puno, next. Tapos ka na naman sa isang puno, next. Alright? It's one, three after the, uh, the other. Anong ginagawa mo? Harvest ka na lang ng harvest sa mga butong tinanim mo. Amen? No seed, no fruit. Amen? No word. No manifestation. Keep on sowing those words and you will have a lot of manifestation. Amen. Come on, bless Him. Alright? So, tuloy-tuloy lang po tayo. Continue in the Word. Now, some people would say, that's hard. Sa so, exercise nga, hirap magpatuloy. Tuloy-tuloy. Amen. <laughs> Alam natin, napakahirap. But you know what? It's harder if we don't continue. It's harder if we don't continue. Alright? Now, let's go to Philippians 4.13. Are we learning? Yes. Philippians 4.13 says, look at this. I can do, sabi natin lahat, I can do. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But you know what? May natutunan ako sa verse na to. I found out na yung word na I can do also means I can have all things through Christ which strengthens me. Right? It also means I can avail of all things through Christ which strengthens me. So hindi lang sa gawa, kundi you can have everything that you want. How? Through Christ who strengthens us. Alright? So if you know this in your heart, kung ito po ay iniintindi natin, sasabihin mo, ba't pa ako mag-aalala? Eh lahat naman pala ng bagay, pwede kong makamtam. How? Through Jesus Christ. Understand this word. I know it's hard to comprehend. Ano? Magwo-word lang ako, tapos ito ang bagay na mangyayari sa buhay ko? Well, that's what the Word of God says. The Word of God is unchangeable, unshakable, and it will produce for you, every seed that you have sown will produce for you exactly the fruit that you want. 
Amen? Alright? So I can do all things. I can have all things. I can avail of all things through Christ who strengthens me. Alright? So without Christ, ang totoo po, we cannot do anything. Alright? In fact, it says there, we can do nothing apart from Jesus Christ. Now, some people say, hindi pastora, isang linggo na akong hindi nananalangin. Isang buwan na akong hindi nagbabasa ng Bible. Ha? Nakakalimot nga ako kay Lord eh, pero wag ka pastora, nakakapaglaba ko, nakakapagtrabaho ko, nagiging tapat lang ako pastora. Kaya, I think that I can do things without Christ. Now, that's how some people think. Right? You think you are doing something, actually you're not doing anything. Ito yung mga, ito yung mga pag-iisip na ganito. Kaya pala, kayod ako ng kayod, pero parang butas ang bulsa ko. Kayod ako ng kayod, kaya lang nags, wala akong masave. At kung may masave man ako, nasave ko na kaya lang may dumadating na gastusin. Kasi we think that we can do things without Christ. In truth, we cannot do anything without Christ. Amen? Do it this way. Do all things through Christ Jesus and you will have the things that you want. Alright? Kaya minsan din natin maintindi, ba't kaya ganun? Binigay ko naman lahat ang sarili ko sa relasyon namin, pero bakit ganun? Di pa rin ako pinapakinggan. You might be doing things on your own instead of letting the Word abide in you. Take rule in your life and you applying the Word. Alright? Maybe that's the way it is. Some people are having a, a lot of frustration. Bakit ganun? Ginawa ko ng lahat. And it's exactly why. Kasi ginawa mo on your own. We have to abide in Christ. And the Word abiding in us. Let the Word rule our hearts and see the difference. It will bear fruit in your life. Konting trabaho lang, aani ka na kagad. Now, let me testify to you. There's this uh, member that we have. Nakausap ko siya sa cafe. Sabi niya, alam niyo, pastora? Sabi niya sa akin ganun. Dati, everyday ako nagtatrabaho. Everyday ako nagtatrabaho. Kaya ang sabi ko, ah, okay lang. Meron naman din dumadating na blessing, ganyan. And, uh, pero wala akong ministry. And she doesn't give time to the word, you know. And then sabi niya, binago daw niya. Ang ginawa niya, nag-focus siya sa word. Right? Nag-focus siya sa word. Nag-share siya ng word. And then this is what happened now. Isang beses, isang linggo na lang siya pumapasok at blessed pa rin siya. Isang be- Sino gusto dito? Isang beses, isang linggo, blessed ka pa rin. Alright? That's the way to do it. When you do it with Christ, in Christ, you're abiding in Him, mas madali ang buhay. Alright? Napakaganda ng buhay. Amen? And that's the truth. I super agree with that. Nararanasan ko din po yan. No sweat, no toil. Sometimes we think we're doing our best, but that's exactly it. We are doing it on our own instead of abiding in Christ. Manahan ka muna sa Kanya at hayaan mo ang salita niya ang manahan sa inyo. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Are we learning? All right. So, you know, some people would say that they can do things without Christ. It's because they haven't actually done it. Hindi pa nila na-experience. Sino dito pa ang gustong bumalik sa typewriter? Tapos magta-type ka ng 100 copies of the same thing. Okay, gagamit kayo ng snowpake. Hindi nyo na alam snowpake, ano? Ano ba yun? Liquid paper. Okay. Sino dito gustong bumalik ng wala? Bakit? Naranasan na natin ang word processor. Ha? Sa computer. Sa best mo lang ta-typein, lahat ng pagkakamali, pwede mo ma-delete o maayos. Alright? And you will never go back to typewriting. But some people, they would defend the typewriter only because they have never tried the computer. Ganon din po sa buhay natin. Sometimes we insist on our ways, you know? Hindi, kaya ko naman yan, kaya ko. But they don't know that in Christ, everything is more efficient, everything is easier. The load has been cast onto the Lord. The load of Jesus is now yours. It is light. No burdens at all. Amen. Come on, bless the Lord. Okay, so let's go on to the next. In John 15:4, John 15:4. Again, yung ganong klase pong buhay, yes, you can do things, you know, it's the normal kind of life, pero hindi po yan yung God kind of life. There's a God kind of life. Right? John 15 chapter uh, John 15:4 to 10. And in this verses, 
Jesus used the word abide ten times. Ten times. Para ipakita po sa atin how important abiding is. In John 15.4, it says, Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you. Ganito po, karealistik to ha. Kung ang tangkay daw po, hindi pwedeng mamunga ng putol, hindi na nangnahan, ganun din po daw tayo. It is impossible for you to bear fruit, good fruit, unless you are abiding continually in Christ. That is impossible. Ganun po yung illustration, alright? Ganun po ka-definite. And it says here, I am the vine, and you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, ano ang yari? Bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. You think you're doing something. You think you're working. No, no, no. You're not doing anything if you are not abiding in Christ. So this, in these verses, Nakikita natin, ganong kaimportante na sa pagmulat ng ating mata, Lord, I thank you. Thank you that you're always with me. Thank you, Lord God, that I can declare your word today. Yun yung nag abide ka na umpisa pa lang. Bakit? Everything flows. You know, everything flows and you are actually bearing much fruit. Alright? And look at this. Tuloy pa natin yung description sa taong hindi nag abide If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. Now, listen to me. Hindi ho kayo susunugin sa impyerno. Hindi po yan ang ibig sabihin. Ibig sabihin, walang saysay ang mga ginagawa natin. Bali, wala. Alright? Ang halaga ng ating mga ginagawa ay parang tangkay na tuyot na kailangan nalang sunugin. That's how fruitful, fruitful yung buhay natin without Christ. Alright? And then look at verse 7. And let's read this together. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Amen? Again, the importance of abiding in Christ and the Word of God abiding in us. Now look at this. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. Manahan kayo sa pag-ibig ko. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Ito gusto ko makita nyo. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. Sa ibang translation po, yung just as I, even as I have kept my Father's commandment and abide in His love. Ibig sabihin po, Si Jesus nga eh, kailangan nag-aabide din sa kanyang ama, mas lalo na tayo. Are you getting that? If Jesus himself who, who did all these things, all the miracles, he did this all by abiding in the Father, much more you and I, we should abide in Christ Jesus so that our lives will be fruitful, our lives will be indeed good. Amen? You cannot do anything apart from Christ. We think we are. Kaya lang, sa dulot-dulo, pag in mo yan, bali wala lang pala. Wala palang saysa yung mga pinagagawa ko. That is how important abiding in Christ is. That's how much God wants you to abide in Christ. Bakit? Gusto niya lagi kang fruitful. Gusto niya laging maganda ang buhay mo. Amen? Bearing much fruit. And so God will be glorified. Amen? Nakikita po ba natin ang pag-ibig ng Diyos dito? It's not about, you know, Gusto niya lang ang puri natin. Gusto niya lang na, gusto lang niya na lagi tayo nakatingin sa you know, He wants you to have a fruitful life. Right? So, let me state this to you. More rest in the Word, no stress in the world. The more we focus on the Word who is Jesus Christ, the less stress there is for you in the world. Alright? Mangyari man na may kaguluhan sa mundo, if you are resting in the Word, I tell you, it will not even bother you. Nagkakagulo na sila, nagsa-strike na sila, nagpa-price hike na, pero ikaw, I know my God will supply all my needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen? Unchangeable, unshakable, as the Word is, unchangeable and unshakable, you will be also. Why? The Word is abiding in you. Amen. Come on, bless Him.
Praise God! So tuloy-tuloy lang po tayo. Tuloy-tuloy lang po. Sow ng sow ng seed sa ating buhay. Okay? Now, the last one. Okay? Now, let me answer this question. Eh, Pastora, how long? How long do I let the word abide in my heart? Until it bears fruit. Meron ba dito pumuputol ng puno ng mangga? Tatlong taon pa lang? Wala pa rin bunga? Hindi, iintayin mo talaga mamunga yan. So you don't, you know, you don't cut off the, the, the tree just because it's not bearing fruit. Intayin mo. Right? Surely it will bear fruit. Okay, number four. Abiding happens in the heart. Kailangan po sa puso, hindi po sa isip. Proverbs 2.2, it says here, So that you incline your ear to wisdom. Nakikinig po ba tayo ngayon? Alright? You incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Bakit hindi ho sinabing apply your brains or your head, your minds to understanding? Pagdating po sa salita ng Diyos, ang pinagagana natin hindi utak, puso. Okay? And it is in the heart that you love the Word of God. Alright? Pag minahal mo ang isang bagay, right, you will need to understand it as well. So, this is how it works. Right? Can we put that there? The heart, the heart is a strong believer more than the mind or the head. Okay? Ulitin ko po, the heart is a strong believer more than the mind or the head. Paano po naiintindihan Kasi usually pag sinabi sa atin, oh, intindihin mo assignment mo, anong pinapagana natin? Utak, di ba? Never mo nung sabihin, sige po, intindihin ang puso ko. Never. But when it comes to the Word of God, you understand it in the heart. Why? Again, because the heart is a strong believer more than your mind. At patutunayan ko po sa inyo yan mamaya. Alright? But uh, let me give you a verse first. Alam po natin that husbands, ano sabi doon? Love your wives. So, command na po yan. But how do you love your wife? Bonus po ito. Go to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7. And we will just take this verse so that you can understand what dwelling means. What abiding means. Sabi po dito, Husbands, this is how you love your wives. Husband, likewise, dwell or abide. Or remain with them. Sino tong them? With the wives. With what? Understanding. Giving honor to the wife. Alright? So ang husband daw, paano mo mamahalin na asawa mo? Iintindihin mo si misis. Maski masungit si misis, iintindihin mo pa rin si misis. Amen? Ay, sal salamat sa dalawa. <laughs> Alright? Mga mister, ganito po ang pag-ibig kay misis. You dwell with them with understanding. Iintindihin mo si misis. Amen? Alright? Maski wala sa mood si misis, iintindihin mo pa rin si misis. Yan ang pagpapatunay ng pag-ibig mo. At ano pa sabi dito? And giving honor to your wife. How do you give honor to your wife? Okay? Pavalue mo siya. Siya lang ang pinakamagandang babae para sa'yo. Amen? That's how you give honor to your wife. But parang ayaw mag-oo ng mga lalaki? Sabi ng mga lalaki. <laughs> Alright. Ang misis nyo ang pinakamagandang babae sa balat ng lupa. Wala ng iba. Amen? Maski may nakikita kang maganda dyan, sasabihin mo pa rin sa misis mo, ikaw ang pinakamagandang babae para sa akin. Amen? Yan ang pag-ibig. That's how you value and honor your wife. Amen? Ang hina. Puro babae sumasagot. Ba't ganun? Alright? <laughs> okay. So, ang misis po natin, that's how you value your wife. That's how you, you love your wife. You dwell with them with understanding. Now, I'm just gonna change this. Look at this. Follow this. Imbis na husband, Christians, Likewise, dwell with the Word with understanding, giving honor to the Word. So in your heart, how do you love the Word? All right? You love it by dwelling, again, with the Word, with understanding, giving honor to the Word. 
Okay? You give honor to the word. Tinataas mo ang salita ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Now, why do we do this? Why do we need to love the word and understand the word in our hearts? Again, because believing in the heart is a strong force to deal with. Matindi ang puso na maniwala. Ibang klaseng maniwala ang puso. A heart is a strong believer more than the mind. Papatunayan ko sa inyo ngayon. Okay? For example, merong mag-boyfriend at mag-girlfriend. Si girlfriend, mahal na mahal si boyfriend. Kaya lang nag-break sila. Okay? Nag-end yung relationship. Now, let me tell you what will happen. Alam na ni girl na hindi siya mahal ng boyfriend. Okay? And yet, ang puso niya, dinedefend pa rin si boyfriend. Makikita niya na lahat ang proof na hindi siya mahal, pero yung puso niya, ide-defend pa rin si boyfriend. Bakit? Puso kasi ang naniwala. For example, nakita niya si boyfriend, may ka-holding hands. Alam mo, sasabihin ng, ng, ng ayaw, proof yun ha? Holding hands eh. That is proof enough. Kita na ng utak, kita ng mata. Alright? Naiintindihan ng utak, pero ang puso ang sabi, siguro kapatid niya lang yun. Hindi ba kapinsan niya? Close kasi sila sa pinsan ni Lick. Pinsan niya lang yon. Totoo hindi? Ha? Dine-defend pa ng puso. Bakit? Matindi, maniwala ang puso. Napaniwala siyang mahal siya ng boyfriend. Okay? Another proof. Aba nakita, nagsusubuan. Si boyfriend, sinusubuan si girl. Okay? Sabi niya, hindi. Alam mo kasi matulungin talaga yan eh. Nung may sakit ako, sinusubuan niya rin ako. Matulungin talaga yan. Promise. Okay? Anong ginagawa? Ang mata, kita na. Rinig na rinig. Ano ka ba? Hindi mo ba nakikita? Ha? At sinusubuan nga eh, oh. Alright? Pero sabi niya, hindi. Kasi ano yan eh. Ganyan lang talaga. Mapagkawang gawa yan eh. Okay? Bakit? Puso, iba ang pinaniniwalaan. May sariling isip ang puso. Tama? Alright? Kitang-kita mo na ang ebidensya and yet, your heart keeps on defending. In fact, in fact, ang team song mo, Bakit nga ba mahal kita? Grabe. Alam niyo yung kantang yun? Oh, sabi dito, hindi ko kasi kabisado. Sige, sabayan niyo ako. Tumingin ka man sa iba. Nagwawalang kibo na lang itong puso. Oh, hindi ko na alam yung susunod. Kaya chorus na tayo. Everybody now. Bakit nga ba mahal kita kahit na... Ano? Hindi nyo alam eh. Kahit, kahit di pinapansin ang damdaming ko. ba? Diba? Di mo man ako mahal. Heto pa rin ako, nagmamahal ng tapat sa'yo. Bakit nga ba mahal kita? Kahit na... Teka muna yung lyrics. Hindi <laughs> ko to nagawa na first service. Kinabahan ako. Okay. Ulit, ulit, ulit. Bakit nga ba mahal kita? Kahit na may mahal ka ng iba. Ba't baliw na baliw ako sa'yo? Hanggang kailan ako... Magtitiis, oh bakit nga ba mahal kita? Oh bakit nga ba, di ba? Bakit nga ba? Kasi the heart is a strong believer. More than the head, kita mo ne, ha? Huli mo ne. Pero yung puso mo, iba pa rin ang sinasabi. Bakit nga ba? Because the heart is a strong believer. Now this is the point, kaya ako kumanta. <laughs> the point is this, alright? Sa maling bagay, sa negatibong bagay, ang puso, pag napaniwala, hindi niya bibitawan ang paniniwala niya. Pero ilagay mo yan sa mabuti. Ilagay mo yan sa paniniwala, sa salita ng Diyos, sa pangako ng Diyos. Magkagulo man sila, wala ka na makitang provision. And yet, because your heart believes, my God will supply all my needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Then that's how you are. Amen? 
hindi ka matiti sa nakikita mo, nagkakagulo na sila. Pero ikaw hindi. My God loves me so much. He will never leave me nor forsake me. He will always break through for me. He will provide for me. Amen? Come on, bless the Lord! That's why abiding is in the heart. Dito yan. How do you do that? You love the Word. Love the Word. Alright? Love the Word and understand it. Dwell with it with understanding. That is how you abide in the Word. Mamahalin mo salita ng Diyos. Lord, salamat. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Salamat, Panginoon. At binigay mo si Cristo para sa akin. That whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Salamat, Lord. At naniniwala ko ay Cristo, kaya ako ay may buhay na walang hanggang. Salamat sa inyo, Panginoon. Amen. That's how you understand the Word and that's how you love it. And I tell you, if you believe that, because your heart believes ano man mangyari, amen, hindi ka matitinag, you will be unshakable, you will be unchangeable, just like the Word of God in your life. Amen? Come on, bless the Lord! Woo, nagawa ko rin. Alright. <laughs> Alright, praise God. Okay, so that's how it is. When you abide in the Word, right, you understand the Word. Sabi natin lahat, understand the Word. Sabi natin, with time and patience. Sabi natin lahat, continually. Tuloy-tuloy lang. And from the heart. And when you do that, just like what the Word says, if you abide in me and my Word abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Amen. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Tayo po tumayo. Let's just thank Him. Thank you, Lord God. Believe the Word. And again, always know that we have everything in Christ. It's just about sowing the Word in your heart. Allow it to grow in you. Alright? Allow it to grow in you and have the manifestation. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you have learned principles from the Word of God that will change your life forever. Our messages are available in DVD and audio formats. You may contact us at the following phone numbers. 046-471-3516 and 046-515-7459. If you want to sow to assist us in proclaiming the gospel, you may deposit to Jesus Faith Christian Fellowship, BPI Savings Account Number, 1283-139235 Dueno Branch, Imus, Cavite Or you may visit us at our church 